Welcome back to my channel, In Flight Music. My name is Ian, and today I want to show you how to turn any boring preset into a preset that you could use in your dark trap type beats. And if you're looking for more FL Studio and music production tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you are notified every time I make a new video. So here I have one of my favorite stock plugins in FL Studio, GMS. So we're going to go into the presets here and go into the leads, and I'm just going to select a random lead here. Uh, Let's just select lead one. Let's listen to what this sounds like. For people that just go through their presets without making any adjustments, I definitely recommend messing around with the ADSR or the attack and the release specifically on your amp envelope. And just by thinking about the attack and the release on different sounds, you'll get more ideas and more inspiration for possibly using a preset that you would normally skip over. So let's listen to what happens as I increase this attack. And then the second thing that you want to take a look at is the filters. You'll skip over a sound because it's too bright or too dark. Right now, I hear that this sound is way too bright. So let's go into the filter section and just decrease the cutoff while it's on low pass. And that will darken up the sound. And then there's other adjustments that we can make here, but before we do that, I want to highlight that the opposite would occur for pads. We'll just select this first one right here. Let's just decrease the attack in the amp envelope. And you'll also notice that this envelope right here has the attack increase, which is also helping the pad sound. So let's decrease that all the way down. And now we have more of a lead. And let's also turn mono on. So the next thing that you want to pay attention to before you skip over a preset are the frequencies. And that's where the filters come in. But one of my favorite filters in FL Studio is actually Fruity Love Filter. So I'm going to pull up Fruity Love Filter and we're going to switch this to a low pass filter. For the sound that I'm looking for, I'm looking for a darker sound. So we're going to make a dark trap type melody. So let's go ahead and choose Mango Low Pass. Another Favorite of mine is the vanilla low pass, but all these low pass filters sound good in this plugin. I'm gonna turn this drive all the way down for now, and we're gonna go into this dual filter, and we're gonna adjust the cutoff. This is also a good time for me to point out a problem that I have with Fruity Love Filter. So right now I can't hear any sound, but I noticed that anytime I'm using Fruity Love Filter in Patcher instead, it works just fine. And I know that probably has something to do with the nature of Fruity Love Filter, but the fact that I can actually do this in Patcher just reminds me that this is something that I wish ImageLine would change. I would love to be able to just use Fruity Love Filter as is, just like I'm about to show you right now. So I'm gonna drag this into Patcher. I'm gonna turn this one off. So now when I play it, we'll absolutely be able to hear it. So that's a simple fix. If you've ever used Fruity Love Filter and you couldn't get any sound out of it, just throw it in Patcher instead. And plus that gives you a lot of flexibility in terms of sound design and really manipulating these presets. So with this cutoff all the way up, we hear no difference in the sound. And then as we turn this down, you'll start to hear the sound darken up. And that's definitely more of a trap style sound. So from there, something that's really common in a lot of trap melodies now is movement. And what I mean by movement, I mean modulation for those of you that already know a little bit of sound design. There are plugins out there that make certain types of modulation and movement really simple. And one of them is a free plugin that I love using called Action Tremolo. I'll link this down below. And let's just take a listen without me describing what it does. So it just adds a lot more excitement to the sound rather than having a static sound. So there's a lot of different plugins out there. In terms of free plugins, this is definitely one of my favorites. Here you have the actual tremolo section, but on top of the tremolo, we have a panning section too. And that's what's giving it the stereo image going left and right. And right here, you can adjust the different shapes. Same right here. And basically this section is just ducking the volume and bringing it back up. And this section is just moving the sound left and right. And that combination just creates a whole lot of movement and breaks up the monotony of any sound. And you could speed this up, slow it down. 
You could decrease the intensity of it. And it even has a saturation section, which is why I turned off the saturation here in Fruity Love Filter, but you could also use the saturation with this drive knob, get additional wave shaping by turning this amp, amp knob on and adjusting the amp and the mix. And you'll hear that this gets really dramatic. So let's go ahead and turn down this mix, turn down the amp and increase the drive into this wave shaper. And let's turn down the amount of wave shaping that we have here. Just select the pencil tool right here, turn off the freeze editing if it's on, and then you could just adjust the wave shape right here. That again is another reason why I love Fruity Love Filter. It really allows you to make any preset a lot darker and a lot warmer at the same time. And it even has some movement capabilities with its LFO tools. But again, there's just a lot more options in this free plugin Action Tremolo with the panning that's included too. So from there, you might hear that this sound is so dark, it adds a lot of dryness to the sound. So what I recommend is adding things like delays and reverbs. If you've seen some of my previous tutorials, I always recommend using delay before reverb just so that the sound actually makes sense where you have the echoes bouncing off of the reverb rather than the reverb being delayed over and over again, which can be a cool sound design trick, but more often than not, that causes a lot of extra mud and buildup in the mix. So I'm just gonna take the basic Fruity Delay 2, and let's just adjust the time here. Let's turn down the feedback so the delay doesn't last as long. And let's switch this to ping pong, adjust the panning so that the delay pans left to right. And we also have a cutoff filter that we could add onto the sound as well. And another great thing about using patcher, you could actually split the signal, have this going into here, and then use the delay more as a send instead. And when you do that, you wanna turn down the dry and the delay. That way you have only a delay signal and then the dry signal going through here. So you could definitely hear that there's a lot more space in the sound, but you can increase that even more just by adding a reverb on top of the delay. So I'm gonna add Fruity Reverb 2. We'll connect that there. And just like we turned down the dry signal and the delay 2, we're gonna do the same thing here. And from there, you can adjust the, the amount of wet signal that you have. And if you've seen my five best reverb tips tutorial, one of the tricks that I recommend is actually going in and EQing the reverb. And we'll go ahead and connect the reverb to the EQ. Another popular effect in Dark Trap is the pitch drifting effect. And if you've downloaded Ulean Loudness Meter, which is a free metering tool, I'll link that down below as well. You should have these additional presets inside of Patcher as an effect. So I'm loading up Patcher as an effect here. And inside of Patcher, I'm gonna go into the presets and we're just gonna load up what is called the humanizer inside of the Ulean uh, preset section. So here you have volume speed, volume variation, pitch variation, and stereo widening. Because we already have so much widening on the sound already with the delays, we really don't need to add any additional widening. I'm gonna leave the volume variation and the volume speed alone, but we're just gonna increase the pitch variation until we get the pitch drifting effect that's really popular in plugins like Isotope Vinyl. And now let's compare that to our original sound. And our new preset. And for my last tip, I recommend just layering 
presets together. So I'm just going to right click GMS, save preset as, drag this over, and now we have another copy of the same exact preset. I'm going to go ahead and attach this into the same plugin chain, and we're just going to cycle through presets until we hear one that layers really well with this sound. So let's just go into leads again, and let's just start from the top. And then from there, you would just level the different sounds. You could add EQs to each of these signal paths and mesh them together a little bit better. You could add things like compression to glue the two sounds together. But overall, I wanted this tutorial to focus on different effects and different settings that you could adjust to make pretty much any preset work for Dark Trap. So according to YouTube, the next video you should watch is here on your left. And if you like this video, you should definitely check out the video on your right as well. I make new videos every week, so remember to turn on notifications so that you are notified every time I drop a new video. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.